Hi guys, I'm Satish, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we will be talking about Hub & Spoke with Azure Firewall. In the last video, we have seen about Azure management groups and subscriptions on how to plan it properly in a Hub & Spoke model. So please do check that video before continuing on this. I have put the link on the description. So in this video, we will be creating the hub resource group and we will be populating the VNet gateways as your firewall and we will be creating the landing zones and landing zones resource groups. In this scenario, we have taken two business units, BU1 and BU2, which will have their own uh, resource groups and we have dedicated a resource group for identity for the domain controllers. So that will be appearing from hub to spoke 1, hub to spoke 2 and hub to spoke 3 and these traffic via from the spokes will go via the Azure Firewall so that's why we are creating a route table here which we will be creating in this video and we will say the traffic has to go via Azure Firewall. So to start with let's go to resource groups and create a, a resource group for the hub. So let's click on create choose the subscription as connectivity subscription which is our hub and you see in our naming convention is AZ connectivity subscription which is our hub PR is production East US and net is our networking networking components will be there in this resource group I'm going to put it on the East US and click on next next create naming conventions are important you know if your naming conventions are not neat uh, later you will face a lot of problem because the amount of resources for each components will be used and you will lose track on which components are related to which components you know so to have a good understanding on this it's to have a better naming convention from day one so let's create a vnet on that resource group go to virtual networks click on create connectivity subscription I'm going to choose the resource group which we just created and put it put our vnet name which is same az connectivity production east us and vnet okay click on next and for the address range I'm going to choose as per the diagram I'm going to choose uh, 10.50.0.0 slash 16 so from below I can hide I'm just going to create uh, one subnet which is called uh, Azure Firewall Subnet. The name has to be Azure Firewall Subnet so that the Azure Firewall implementation can detect this. You know, it's a prerequisite for Azure Firewall. So I'm gonna put 2.0 slash 24 for Azure Firewall because I'm planning to use 1.0 for the virtual network gateway. You know? So let's click on add and click on next. Now the resource group is ready. If you click on the resource group, we can create the VNet. As the VNet is already created, if you see the hub, VNet is ready. Clicking on the VNet, we, we have the subnet for Azure Firewall. Let's populate a gateway subnet uh, so that the virtual network gateway can use it. I'm just making it 1.0 as per my diagram. Just click on save. So let's go to virtual network gateways click on virtual network gateways, click on create choose the connectivity subscription, choose the gateway details uh, use our region is east us in this implementation I'm going to choose just basic uh, for this it's not an express route so I'm using VPN and it's a root based VPN type we are just using uh, generation 1 and uh, we are using the virtual network which we created and the gateway subnet is already populated because we created on the virtual network before coming into the virtual network crea creation and we are going to use a new public IP address you can create a public IP address and associate with this or we can just create new just like this and click on review and create now let's create an azure firewall click on create on the connectivity subscription click on the resource group which we created earlier and let's put a firewall name 
I'm just putting in my same naming convention East US AFW for Azure Firewall, choose East US. And if you want to improve your availability, you can choose uh, increase your number of zones. I'm not using any availability zones in this. Uh, choose standard, premium is in preview, and I'm going to use firewall management. And uh, let's create a firewall management policy. I'm going to use my name as Azure Firewall Policy, choose East US, click on Yes. Now I'm going to use a virtual network which I have a virtual network already and I'm going to create a new public IP address. So let's create a public IP address which I don't have, click on Add New and choose OK, AFW, I think PIP on create so we have created the resource group we have created the vnets subnets and we created the vnet gateway and the azure firewall now let's populate the spokes and also in the azure firewall you can add log analytics and you can send the logs to log analytics and query the allow and deny traffic uh, i'm not going to cover this in this video and let's uh, create the spokes and let's do peering and see the traffic uh, going via the Azure Firewall. So let's create a resource group uh, for my first spoke, which is my identity subscription, where the domain controllers will be. I'm not. Uh, I'm going to create a resource group for my networking components in my identity subscription. So I'm going to have net and IDT is my identity where my domain controllers I'm going to choose uh, create. Now as you see now my resource group is ready. Now let's create a virtual network. Click on virtual networks. Click on create. Choose my identity subscription. Choose the resource group which we just created. Uh, create a VNet. Click on next our IP range for the first spoke as per the diagram is 51.0.0 slash 16 and my subnet will be 51.1.0 where my subnet name will be IDP and DCS net for subnet and I'm gonna put my subnet range and click add and create now my vnet is ready uh, you see the identity vnet is ready now let's create a resource group for my virtual machines which is my domain controllers in the identity subscription so as you see i'm not putting the vm inside my networking uh, resource group of the identity subscription i'm going to create a dedicated resource group uh, just for my vms so that i segregate my networking resources and vm resources in a separate uh, resource group so DCs and click on next, click on create, create. Now my uh, resource group is ready for the domain controllers. So let's populate a, a VM virtual machines. So this could be a virtual machine in this VNet, it could be your uh, Kubernetes cluster, it could be anything, you know, just the concept is the same. So let's uh, choose the identity subscription and choose the, the resource group. Uh, just put a VM, uh, East US, SV server, DSS domain controllers, East US. Just to test one, no infrastructure required. Let's create a Windows 2019 VM and uh, just put a, a temporary VM. Just so I just put a test username and put a password. We should not be exposing this uh, VM to the internet because it's on the spoke. As for this demo, what I will do is I'll be creating a, a test virtual machine in the hub subscription. And ideally in a production network, it could be your Azure Bastion VMs on your hub or it could be a side-to-side -side VPN from your on-premises. Uh, these VMs can be accessed. but they will not be published through the internet directly at any point of time. 
so yeah I'll just choose the X uh, for my case and click on next networking uh, let's choose the VNet which we just created let's choose the subnet which we created dedicated for the domain controllers and I don't need a public IP because it's on the spoke so I'm just put none and click on next 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 Uh, let's create a, a jump box uh, subnet on my hub uh, subscription so I'm going to create a VM here uh, so that I can show you how you can access the spoke and we will do the pairing uh, as well so we have a jump box uh, subnet is ready now so let's create a jump box on uh, hub subscription just to show you the connectivity uh, how the connectivity is working so I will just populate the resource group, create new, click on OK, put my virtual machine name, just go to East US, then just populate my username. Uh, my username is ready. I'm just going to allow 3389 and putting uh, as a benefit in my case. So click on next, choose networking, and uh, choose the VNet or jump VNet. Choose our uh, jump box uh, subnet. Uh, just allow the public IP to get created. Click on next, 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 create. So now we have a, a VM in the hub and VM in the uh, spoke. So let's do the connectivity between the hub and spoke via the VNet pairing. So I am in the connectivity subscription and I am on the connectivity VNet. Now let's do a pairing to bring connectivity to your, our first spoke which is our identity spoke. So click on add pairing. So I'm gonna put a long name to have a better understanding from connectivity VNet to my identity VNet and I'm gonna say allow allow and use the remote virtual network gateway and I'm going to give the pairing of the remote virtual network is from identity to connectivity VNet and say choose my identity VNet and uh, choose the vnet click on allow allow and say use the remote uh, virtual network gateway or root server and click on add so let's have the pairing to bring connectivity from to the hub and the spoke so you can see where the pairing is connected and we can do the same type of concepts that you will do the pairing to the first business unit VNet and the second business unit VNet with the same uh, architecture. So I'm going to do the RDP to to the jump VM. So let's do an RDP. So now if you can ping from the hub to the spoke, if you see 51. 1.4 is my spoke VM so I can reach my spoke VM so now the pairing is up but now let's create a root table so that the outbound traffic of my spoke VM will go via the Azure firewall so I just come to the root tables and I have choose the identity subscription I have put the resource group in the networking resource group please us and I'm going to put a root table name and propagate routes to this create so I just logged in to the spoke VM my VM IP is 10.51.1.4 and if I browse the internet if you see it's going directly to the internet without going to the Azure firewall so let's map the routing table to the this uh, subnet so that the traffic will start going via Azure firewall so I am in the root table which we created and let's go to roots, the root table uh, for my spoke subnet. So let's create the root as two Azure firewalls. So this will make the traffic to go via the Azure firewall. 
and in our case it's a virtual appliance which is a view for a wall so i'm saying all the traffic from this vm go to this and click ok let's the root get added so the root is added now so now we have to map this so root table to the subnet which we created so i'm going to my spoke vnet clicking on spoke vnet then i go to subnets and this is my subnet where this uh, virtual machines will be located so i'm going to choose the root table and I'm going to say this so now all the subnet all the traffic from the subnet going out will go via the sub firewall click save we will go inside the vm to make sure this is happening so now i am in the spoke uh, vm so if i go and say to browse google.com it's it's going via the azure firewall by default it's denying all the traffic this can be allowed on the azure firewall manager so now uh, you just saw all the vms if you see the vms uh, so now we have the azure firewall vnets the peering to the spoke one we saw the traffic from the vm going via the azure firewall denying all the traffic by default so you can have multiple spokes uh, which when your business grows you don't have to redesign everything so as the azure firewall progress if you want to upgrade to premium you can do that so you get a lot of advantage when you have the site to site vpn you can just map it to the vnet gateway and you get access to all the spokes so that is it hope the video was informative thank you for watching please subscribe